we are Mesozoans, descended from ancestral Mesozoans. He and our grandmothers are the features that we share. While metazoan animals are multicellular, like the simple animals, like sponges, metazoan animals possess differentiated cells. In other words, as you can see in this image of a human embryo developing, at some point the cells choose a fate. They specialize so that one cell is different from another. This forms tissues where cells and their cell products for, uh, perform a specialized function. Metazoan animals share this because the earliest metazoan animal evolved mechanisms to specialize their cells. One of the main causes of this was an amplification of the genes known as transcription factors. These are kind of master switches which can turn genes on or off. And so therefore, an organism can possess many genes in its genomes, but an individual cell can decide which genes get turned on or off, allowing a muscle cell to be different from a nerve cell, different from a gland cell, etc. And so one of the great advances in the metazoan animals was differentiation. So cells could uh, specialize and be different from each other. And thus specialized cells and their products could form the first tissues. We're early metazoan animals. We developed many of very exciting types of cells, such as these cells. These are neurons or nerve cells, and we have a nervous system. These cells conduct electricity and can send electrical messages throughout the body to control it. This is something which will be amplified in humans, but primitive nervous systems conducting electricity developed in we metazoan animals. We do not have brands or spinal cords. Instead, a nerve net controls muscle contraction and functions of the body. We developed the first eyes, and so we have specialized cells for the perception of light. They cannot use vision, but they can detect light versus dark and help us swim up versus down. And one of the cell types we developed was true muscle, some of which was striated and uses many of the same genes as found in the muscle of higher animals. And so thus, we were the first animals which could truly move and control our movements while the nervous and muscular systems of higher animals will be so much more complicated than those of, say, a jellyfish. Nevertheless, those complex nervous and muscular systems are built on the foundation which evolved in the first metazoan animals more than 600 million years ago. Simple metazoan animals developed a number of other features which are not only shared in the advanced metazoan animals, but are very important for the functioning of more complex systems. These include a number of digestive enzymes, including ones similar to trypsin, which are secreted into the gastrovascular cavity. The first true gonads, where gametogenesis only is performed in specific regions of the body. The process of oogenesis, in which non-functional polar bodies are produced in addition to the ovum. While advanced animals would use many of these in more complex mechanisms, nevertheless the foundations of these mechanisms appeared in early metazoan animals. So for example, although jellyfish arguably are not capable of the live birth that placental mammals are, or the ejection of milk for young, or orgasm. Nevertheless, the hormone of the oxytocin vasopressin family, which mammals will use for these complex reproductive mechanisms, first evolved in ancestral metazoan animals.